What up you guys? My name is Aline, they call me Aline, and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my interview makeup. Usually, I like to keep my makeup pretty simple. I mean, this is also kind of my look that I use for my everyday. The only difference is the foundation aspect. However, this is a look that I usually go for. It's natural, it's simple, it's classy, it's not too extra, and it also, you know, I guess accentuates my natural features, and it's pretty much, you know, my interview makeup. So without further ado, I guess we could dive right into the video. So before I start the tutorial, um, first I'm going to put my hair back with these hair clips. So the first thing I'm going to do is prep my face and I'm going to start off with using the Thayer's Rose Water Toner. This isn't the actual original packaging, I just use this um, kind of like spray bottle since it makes application easier, but yeah, I'm going to tone my face first. Next thing I'm going to do is actually um, do an extra step, which you guys don't have to do. And I'm going to be using the Ordinary Night CMI 10% plus Zinc 1%, which is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. And I'm going to use this so this can help lighten up my acne scars. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is moisturizing my face and I am using the Murad Oil Control Mattifier and my most favorite part about this is that it has SPF 15. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is priming my face and I'm actually going to be using two different primers. Um, the first one I will be applying is the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer and then I'm going to top it off with the Urban Decay Deslake Complexion Primer. Um, the reason why I use two is because one, I want to make sure my face pretty much stays matte. Um, one of my biggest worries is if my face oils up during an interview because, you know, of course, like, I have combination skin. So, yeah, these two are kind of like what I like to use to make sure that everything, you know, controls my shine and, you know, I stay pretty much flawless. So the next thing that I like to do is apply my brows and I will actually be using two products. Um, the first one I will be using is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate and this actually isn't my right color, it's a little bit red for me but I just use this to trace my brow and then I use the ELF Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe which actually blends in really really well so these two together kind of make my perfect brow color. thing I will be doing is actually setting, well, not setting, but cleaning up my brows, and I like using this, even though it's really, really small, um, the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Medium, and I pretty much like to do this to, you know, pretty much, you know, make my brows on point and make them look sharp. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually set my primer and I've been copying or taking tips from Jackie Ina and I really really like doing this for me since I've noticed a big difference with my makeup. Application seems to be more smoother and also my makeup has been lasting longer and what I'll be using is actually the Ben Nye Media Pro Powder Compact in the shade Banana.
So the next thing I will be doing is applying foundation and I will be mixing two different foundations today. I will be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 300 and also the Milani Conceal and Perfect um, Foundation in the shade Sand. And um, right now since I'm a little tan, I need something a little darker so I kind of just combine this and this two together. And also since, you know, this, even though it's a great matte foundation, you know, with interviews, you kind of want to look a little more natural and a little more dewier. So these two together kind of make that perfect formula for me. Okay, next step is concealer, and I will be using the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in the shade Medium. I will apply this under my eyes and also any scars that I need to cover, and I just really love this stuff. So the next thing I will be doing is actually just um, brightening up my eyes. Usually I don't really do the crazy contour that I usually do whenever it comes to my interview makeup. I just try to keep it as simple as possible. And to brighten up my eyes, I will be using the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Beige. The next thing I will be doing is actually baking my face or more like setting my powder and um, the product I will actually be using is the RCMA No Color Powder. However, I am using this Ben Nye Luxury Powder um, container but the product is RCMA's No Color Powder. I just put the product in here because it's more easy for me to you know, get the product and apply it on my face. Now, usually I don't really keep it on for that long. I probably only put it on for a minute. And after the minute is up, I usually just wipe off all the excess RCMA powder. So the next thing I will be doing is actually applying bronzer. And today I will be using the ColourPop um, Press Powder Face Bronzer in the shade Rodeo Drive. As you can see, I have hit pan. Um, I kind of realized this bronzer is a little too red for me, but this is the bronzer I have at the moment. So today I'm just going to pretty much work with this and pretty much bronze my face. The next thing I will be applying is blush and today I will be using the Sleek Makeup Blush in the shade, shade Coral um, which looks like this. Oh my god, it is broken but um, I pretty much like to use a color like this because it really blends in well. You know, you kind of want to make sure your blush isn't super super pink or super super red or super super bright because you don't want to draw the eyes on the cheeks. You kind of want to draw the eyes in the whole face so they can visually see you when they interview you but yeah I will be using this blush today and I have to be really really careful because it is broken so you guys already know I love me some highlighter I can pretty much use multiple highlighters at a time because I just love shining and being glittery and things like that however for an interview you know that's one thing I really, really toned down is my highlighter. And for today's highlighter, well, a highlighter I've been using lately is the ColourPop Press Powder Face in the shade Bougie Call. Um, it looks like this, and as you can see, I have hit pan. And I'm pretty much going to apply this on my cupid's bow, right here around my nose, and my high cheekbones. So the next thing I will be applying is my wing eyeliner. Um, this actually isn't necessary for interview purposes at all. However, for me, um, I feel like you know the winged eyeliner kind of gives me a distinct look and kind of shares my personality as an individual. And for today, um, I will be using the Dolly Wink um, Black 
eyeliner. It's a kind of like liquid pen eyeliner, I guess. And I will be using this to apply my winged eyeliner. So I actually had to fix my eyeliner on camera because it was just not working. But even though I'm not satisfied, the show must go on. So now what I'm going to do is actually um, set my brows with this e.l.f. If there's no name to this, uh, clear brow gel in the shade Crystal. Now what I'm going to do is actually apply mascara and the mascara I will be using is the Essence Lash Princess Fall Lash Effect Mascara in Black. Next thing I will, doing, will be doing, uh, sorry I cannot speak today, is set my face. I will be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder Compact in the shade Warm Beige. So the next thing I will be doing is applying setting spray and I will be using the Found Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray with Red Tea. Of course, the last thing I will be applying is lipstick and this is one of my favorites. I will be using the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Brink. Now this is the final look, but before I do that, let me change real quick. And now this is the final look. I have my blue blouse, my necklace, one earring, no jewelry. Do I look business professional yet? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my interview makeup tutorial. I know this makeup tutorial is super random, but you know, I've been doing a lot of interviews lately, so I figured to share with you guys kind of like the makeup look that I usually go to whenever I'm going in for an interview. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave some love down below, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and also click on that notification bell if you guys really enjoy my videos. Also follow me on my social media. Uh, my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter are all a link to the. I just want to say thank you guys again for watching and until next time, it's been real and I'll see you soon. Bye!